Good morning, good morning. It is 11.25, October 26, 2021. It's Tuesday. Happy Tuesday to you. Uh, I tell you, I pray that you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel as me and Little Lago here just hanging out. And uh, you'll subscribe to this YouTube channel because I'm going to begin to teach on things, you know, about the rapture, about the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, right? And there, there's a second coming, my friend, right? A second coming, not in the sense, there's not a third coming, right? There's a second coming. Well, how's that all going to work out? Well, let's look at Scripture, right? 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, starting in verse 14, the Apostle Paul writes, For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him, right? So you got you to gotta look at this, right? Those that sleep or are dead in Jesus, right? So, so only if you're in Jesus can you, um, what happened there? Only if you're in Jesus, <sighs> there's this ant right here, you get him. Only if you're in Jesus, right, can you say that you're going to have eternal life. You'll never die. You'll never die, right? And, and this side of heaven, because of the power of the gospel, right? I'm going to let you, I'm up with you. Right, because of the power of the gospel, right, we can live in divine health. We can have what's called the baptism of of the Holy Spirit and fire, with the evidence of speaking in tongues, right? That if we pray in the Spirit, right? If anxiety comes, if fear comes, right? I, I worship, I get in that place. The Lord wants you to walk in the Spirit. And you won't fulfill the desires of the flesh, right? This is why we're given the gift of the Holy Spirit. And so, I, I just, I tell you, I don't even know if I'll share this. I, I may, I mean, I didn't want to come on here to tell you the truth because I got all these blemishes on my face. But, you know what the Lord said? The Lord said, you know what? It ain't about you. It ain't about you, Stephen. You need to just get over yourself. You know, just get, and this is what we got to do, right? We got to get over ourselves. you know? And, I, you know, we live in a fallen world, Right? And, and, and I'm in a body that's waiting, that's going to be glorified. Well, one of these days, I'm not going to have to worry about blemishes. You know, I'm not going to have to worry about this kind of thing because I'm going to have a glorified, brand new body. Hallelujah. Are you ready for that? That's the question, right? So Paul goes on, he says, For, it, for this we say unto you by the word of the Lord. Now when an apostle, right, of the Lord Jesus Christ declares something by the word of the Lord, right? Let me tell you what he's saying. He's saying this is what God revealed. This is what God not only revealed, this is what God showed, and this is how it's going to be, right? And so, you know, as an apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ, I mimic the apostle Paul, right? And the Lord Jesus came to me. I spent three and a half days with the Lord. I'll never be the same. I'm here uh, uh, as a testimony of Jesus, right? And, and I don't care uh, 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 people's religious tradition, you know. You talk about the rapture and you talk about your pre-trib. Well, there's no pre-trib rapture. It's just the reality of it. There's no such thing as, you know, the Lord going to come back, you know, and spare all of us from the trial and tribulation that we're in right now. We're in the tribulation or else I wouldn't be here talking. That's the reality of it, right? And... The Lord wants you and I to go through certain struggles and tribulations in life. Because why? Because He loves us and He wants us to understand that the suffering that we go through. Right? Paul said in Romans 8, 18, For I reckon that the, the present uh, uh, sufferings that we go through in this world are not worthy to be compared of the glory that's going to be revealed in us. And this glory is the Lord Jesus Christ. It's Christ the King of glory on the inside of me. Right? That's speaking right now. And that, that when I go in that place of the Holy Spirit, my friend, and I, 
And the Holy Spirit brings on my heart, you know, people like Dr. Fauci and President Joe Biden and, you know, Dane Cook, Kevin Hart, 50 Cent, Jay-Z, Beyonce, Lady Gaga. I mean, the list can go on and on. Jim Carrey, you know, I mean, uh, uh, Matthew McConaughey, you know, Jennifer Lopez, you know. I, I mean, this is the reality of being a, 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 a Christian set on fire by the power of the Holy Spirit. I don't care if you're in the Illuminati. I don't care if you're a Freemason. I don't care if you're a Satanist. Well, whoop de hoop you know, What are you going to do to me? Nothing. Not a thing. Hallelujah. Not a thing. I'm just going to worship Jesus. Hallelujah. Yay, Jesus is coming back. Yay. <laughs> you know, there ain't nothing that, uh, anybody can do to me because I'm invincible. Hallelujah. <laughs> and so are you if you believe, my friend. And... The light that's in me is going to overtake the darkness. And the light that's in you. Oh, this is about every tongue, tribe, and nation. Oh, this is the king's, governor's, president. Jesus Christ is Lord. He's coming soon. Right? But he's not going to come in the way that you may think. Where you can just sit on your patootie, you know, and do nothing. Oh, I'm not going to do nothing. Hallelujah. I'm going to sit in my million dollar shanty. Watch CNN and Fox. Uh, Jesus is going to come back and just kick me. Yay. No, it ain't going to work that way. You're going to go through something. Right? But in the midst of the trial, in the midst of the tribulation, in the midst of the depression, in the midst of the heart, in the midst of people that die, you know, early deaths. My friend, I'm not going to die in early death. You know why? The power of life and death is in the tongue. So I agree with the Lord Jesus Christ about my destiny. And so this is why the Lord spared my life uh, when I was on meth, when I was on cocaine, when I was on heroin, when I was on acid, when I was on mushroom, my friend, when I was on all these different things, right? God spared my life and he taught me the whole time, you know, the whole time that I'm walking in this uh, uh, crazy relationship. I mean, you know, if you really want to know the truth, my friend, I mean, I, I was uh, uh, married before I'm, uh, the marriage that I'm in now. You know, I was married for 17 and a half years to a wonderful woman. You know, I, I love her to this day. I We divorced. You know, unfortunately, I went through these things. I put her through, I put her through hell. I, I, I committed adultery. I did these things, right? And I did them in ignorance. Right, there's, there's, and then, let me tell you something. When it comes to the Lord Jesus Christ, right? You don't have, you have, you don't have a past. You have a present and a future. This is the reality of it. People don't get it, my friend. You have a present and a future. They're, the past is gone. I don't have time to live in the past. You know, and you get pastors and leaders that say, well, God will never use you, brother. You've been divorced, you know. It says, uh, uh, let him be the, be the husband of one wife. You know. Well, I can't control that. I mean, whatever you, you, that's what you say. You say, God can't use me. You say, you know, God can't, can't minister to somebody that's on meth. Oh, somebody that has the power of the Holy Spirit and praise in tongues, how could they be doing that? Well, I did it. What are you going to say about it? What are you going to do about it? Nothing, not a thing. You sit there and listen as I burn up the internet on YouTube and Facebook, you know, Power and His Presence International, Stephen Drake 45 on Instagram. You can sit back there and, and watch, my friend. Watch as the fire of God burns in my life and the word of the Lord sounds out. People are hurting, you know. How dare we sit in our churches and do nothing, do, do absolutely nothing, preach a false gospel, you know. But this false Jesus you preach. My friend, I know the King of kings and the Lord of lords. And He speaks with you now. And I'm here to tell each and every one of you that He loves you. That He died for you. And that He's coming again. But I'm not going to hear the trumpet sound. I'm, I'm, I'm appointed to death. I'm appointed to battle the Antichrist, the devil, and the false prophet. I don't care. My friend, I'm talking about living in the glory of God where you know that in spite of death, in spite of pain, in spite of heart, in spite, it don't matter who turns their back on me. 
right? I'm going to walk with Jesus in power, in glory, in fire. Signs and wonders will follow me. You know? And the mercy, the goodness of God. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. This is my heritage. This is who I am. This is what I'm destined to be. To be. Oh, my friend, when I pray in the Spirit, you know, I'm sending angels to war. And they're witnessing right now. And the Holy Spirit's writing down in the, the books of heaven. There's a book in heaven written about your life. Written about my life. So the angels of God are, are around right now. My friend, when you want to do good, evil is present. Remember that. But you can separate yourself for the glory of consecrate yourself. Set aside a fast. You want to know if God's real? Well, then I encourage you to fast. Fasting, right, is, is, is refraining from eating or drinking for spiritual purposes. Right? And, and I promise you, if you, if you want to find out the truth, oh, I, you could be a Muslim, a Hindu, a Buddhist, Satan, Freemason, living out. It don't matter. Do you want to know the truth? Do you want to know the truth? Well, set aside. You know, if you're struggling and if you're in a dilemma, my friend, and you're, you know, reading the Quran and then you pick up the Bible or you're reading the Satanic Bible and then you pick up the Bible, which one's true? Well, my friend, you lock yourself in a room for seven days. Right? This is what you do. You take the Bible, the Word of God, and you take the Quran, or you take uh, uh, the Satanic Bible, and you put them side by side. And you tell the Lord. You say, God, I want to hear from heaven. I want to hear. I want to know. And, uh, and I'm going to purpose in my heart, Lord, as I worship you, as I set, set my, myself apart for you. I'm not going to eat because I want you to speak. I'm not going to drink because I want to hear from you. My friend, God will show up. You, you think he won't. Try it. God will show up. And I'll tell you, when he shows up, he's going to give you the gift of no condemnation. This is what he does. Oh, my friend, man stuck in religion wants to make it about sin. Well, Jesus died for my sin. So what sin then? What are we talking about? And the grace of God will swallow up your sin. I promise you, you can't out sin the grace of God. The grace of God will swallow up your sin. And so this is why I don't care if you're on meth or heroin, cocaine, smoking cigarette, what whoop de hoopty. My friend, the grace of God will swallow that up. The Holy Spirit will swallow that up. Because greater is he that is in me than he that's in the world. First John 4 4. This is what he's given us, right? For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these these words. So this is what I want you to know. When we're in unity, but this is part of the destiny and the mandate and call of God for my life. When, when the church wakes up and comes into the unity of the Spirit and the bond of peace, and we unite, right? And we grow in the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ together. And we cross denominational lines. Oh, the Catholic begins to love the Presbyterian, and the Presbyterian begins to love the Methodist. The Methodist begins to love the Baptist, and the Baptist loves the Lutheran, and the Episcopal, the Pentecostal, Church of Jesus Christ, Latter day Saints, Jehovah's Witness. My friend, if we all come into the unity of the faith, then what's going to happen? Well, what's going to happen is we're going to disciple nations. Oh, I'm prophesying to you right now. And the glory of God's going to fall. I don't care who's in office. Oh, I don't care how dark it gets. Right? This is the reality of it, my friend. For the Lord Himself. And this I tell you by the word of the Lord. Right? For the Lord Himself shall descend from heaven with a shout. My friend, this is what happens, right? When the body of Christ comes in the unity of the Spirit and the bond of peace, every tongue, tribe, and nation. Right? Don't make this about race. It's ain't got nothing to do with race. 
Right? This ain't got nothing to do with Jew or Gentile. Apostle, the Apostle Paul had the revelation just like I have. Galatians 3.28 says that, For there is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. It's Christ the King of Glory on the inside of us. That's beginning to speak. He's beginning to sound out the word of the Lord, my friend. And I tell you, I don't have time for these pa- I don't have time for these pastors and leaders that want to sit back and they want to ridicule. And they want to talk about, they want to condemn people. You know, they're coming against the call of God on people's lives. You know, I mean, they sit around, they, they badmouth Bill Johnson. Oh, they badmouth Dan Moeller. They badmouth Joe Osteen. They badmouth, they're sitting around rather than preach Christ and Him crucified. They want to sit around and nitpick these people that have a better, bigger platform than they have given to them by the grace of God. That's not my job. My job is to pray for them. You know, I, I mean, I don't, I've never met Joel Osteen. I've never met Bill Johnson. I've never met Dan Muller. I know this. I know they preach Jesus. They may not preach him the way that you would prefer him to be preached. But my friend, we need to be coming into the unity of the Spirit and the bond of peace. You know, you don't even know what spirit you're of when you're talking 